Yep, back out again. This is the next day. Uh, well, no, it's the same day. The same day I came down the buckle and I've met up with Mark in Dumfries and Galloway. And we're going to go, well, we're going to see how far we get because I'm absolutely shattered. Like, look at this, so nice. We've been here before, but it was. Uh, it was the winter and we couldn't say anything, it was windy, the rain and sort of ruined our trip, so we'll come back up the Merrick, that's what aim is the Merrick, whether we'll get there or not, it's a different story, it's the story of Andy's legs, whether I can take it, but yeah, back out, again, same day, little way marker here, the bothy of bother, been in here a couple of times. I think it's shut. What's it say? Mountain Bothy is currently closed. <laughs> I always remember it was a bit of a midden way. I don't think the fact that it's closed has been stopping people getting in like but everybody's here there's like loads of tents dotted around and over there there's loads of tents <sighs> nice place to camp like if you get the weather when the weather's awful here it's bad really bad we know only too well what the bad weather's like here don't we <laughs> hammered twice i've been hammered by cold winds and ice. snow ice rain everything but now, third time lucky. Alright, we're gonna go up this track of terror through the trees of horror up onto the slopes of Ben Yellery of death. <laughs> yes, everything's gonna be like that today because I'm knackered, man. <laughs> There's even the, the car drive. I don't think we're gonna get the car drive of chaos <laughs> coming. <laughs> so we'll just come through them trees there. Right up a steep path, loose rock as well, so it wasn't helpful. Up this track here, which is steep, and up there, come to a, um, a fence line which runs across. It's got a gate going through it, like, and then after that, you go up to the bottom of Ben Yellery. Oh, feeling it, it's feeling my legs now, and the heat, the heat in that forest, we're protected from the wind, so it's just absolutely red hot. Phew. Here we go anyway. Gonna uh, just cool down here. I've just cooled down. It's so hot. Watch this, this will be good. Bushcraft Johnson. Johnson? Yeah, Bushcraft Thompson. Thompson, you Thompson Johnson. Where are you Johnson from? I don't know. I'm not even gonna get a friend doing that for me. Yeah, get on, you'll be alright, man. Last time I did this, and at the end, look at this. This is why I'm filming. Look at that, that's so refreshing, isn't it? Oh, I Oh. Just, just do do your heat, the top and back of the oh. heat. Much better, isn't it? Nice, oh, and lovely. That's glorious. That it's not ice cold either, so it doesn't take your breath. Oh. It's just right. Oh, really. Aye, lovely that. <laughs> Dip our feet in it tomorrow. Right, here we are then. Well, this is our ultimate goal here, the Merrick. We've camped there before, but oh, it was a nightmare. You see the, the videos on YouTube, it was an absolute disaster. Tent bound all night. This is Ben Yellery, where I've camped before. So we're just having five minutes, get our breath back. Down there is Loch Neldrigan, where I've camped. <laughs> just camped everywhere around here. And we're just talking about going a bit further around to that, that one at the back. I can't remember the name of that one. That was a hell of a walk, that. That's on YouTube as well, that video, Neldrigan. Oh, but yeah, there's people coming back now. Oh, Merrick, we've only got that that walk down there. That nice, that'll be a canny respite. And then you've got a bit uphill. And from what we can remember, it wasn't really that bad going up there. It looks it looks long and steep, but I don't think it was as bad as it looks. Well, we'll sharp find out, won't we? Oh, right, we'll get pushed on. There's Mark on the summit, summit pirate. 
So we've just come from that one, Ben Yallery. Downhill, that was a nice respite, but then it started going up again. The spit of the Neve, or the Neve of the spit. So, what is it? I think it's Neve the spit. <laughs> or it could be that way around. We're at the cairn of many Thanksgivings. And we're about oh, 10 minutes off the top. So we've made it. I don't think I, to be fair, I don't think I would like. I thought I'd be stopping on Yallery. But we've got up anyway, determined, you see. I determined. Oh, really. well, that was an idea as well, wasn't it? You can't see the locks anymore. Yellery to me would have been a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> now he says, now he tells us. Anyway, we're going to just push on and get up here. And then the wind's picking up like so. Uh, we'll see. Cools you down the wind. So, somehow, with a lot of willpower, made it to the top of the Merrick. He dragged us up, he forced us to go, him. He's the villain. You did well. You've done well for what you've done this weekend, mate. You're the villain of the piece. You've, apart, from the, apart from the ups and the downs, all the driving involved. Uh, I think I'm going to get the bin bag out tomorrow. People have just cleaned the place up. No, not careful of it. But look at the views. This is what we missed last time. It's all about the views. This is why we came back. Probably the last time we'll do this. But never say never. But it probably will be. We're going to try next. The next thing would be these loxies. I remember when I went to Neldricken with the lads and it was really cold but on a nice hot day that would be absolutely perfect. One thing I could do right now is just dip my feet in cold water. It'd be lovely. That's it. That's it. Um, is it not Loch Enoch? Or is that that one up there? I'll have a look at the map. Enoch, Lock Enoch. You can see for miles though. Miles and miles. Oh, I'll get the tent up and uh, just collapse in it, I think. Tent's up. Put the deltas out because uh, apparently the wind's meant to be picking up. We'll see. Here's Mark's lesser tent. Oh, you're lesser. You're lesser <laughs> <spot with laughs> it looks identical. Look, both of them's moving like. There's not a great difference. You haven't got a solo, solo, sorry. You haven't got a one. You buy one new, buy the black label. Aye. You already have got a one, the red label one. Didn't do what Arnie's done. <laughs> and then sell it and buy a black label one because the, the red label does the job. But, like the bloke on the end there, Sarah's just done a recent review of it. Quite an in depth review, I must admit. I can see where he's coming from. If he, if he guns out and he's in a storm, at least he knows he's done the best he can to protect himself against that storm. Is that your words of wisdom? That's my words of wisdom. Yep. You're like Mother Mary coming to me, speaking words of wisdom. Hi. A lot from across that way, somewhere. Across the sea. Past Paddy's Mail Stroke, keep going, turn left. <laughs> Till you hit land. Aye, till you hit land. Look, you get to the, um, the Devil's Causeway or something. The Giant's Causeway. The Giant's Causeway, that's it. You could have a blooming festival up here. Anyway, I'm going to fill it up with stuff and then get me tea on. I've had an out eat since this morning. Now we're just coming off the edge. We're up. Come up there. Up there. Somewhere. But um, we're just looking down on Neldricken, where we camped. We camped on that side. We had a walk over the little island, hopped over the island, and there's a lovely, bigger sort of beach on the other side. It's for fun-sized earthling. That's the white sandy beaches I was on about. These ones here, these locks, Loch Enoch. White sandy beach in the corner there, right over there. That looks ideal, doesn't it, over there? They look tiny from here, but they are bigger when you get to them. 
I mean, we pitched four tents on one down there. Three tents. Aye, four. There was four of us, wasn't there? Anyway, we're just mooching about, like, killing time. Because we've got no beer. Because Mark forgot to buy me some beer. Couldn't believe it, like. Could not believe it. <laughs> it was actually me. I couldn't get. I couldn't get the beer. Couldn't stop in the shops. The roads to the shops were so busy coming here. No, I just did, didn't go. On. I I drank them all last night and the night before. I had four for tonight, but I drank them on uh, Friday. <laughs> Nothing fancy here. Just chicken tikka, wayfarers. This is my favourite one. This is the this is the one that I would rate. Chicken tikka is really nice. Brought a bottle of wine. A literal bottle of wine. That was filled up in the stream on the way up. Got a shortage of water. Um, that's it really. I'm just gonna have this and take these views in and then we'll get back to the the more serious stuff. You know what makes sense. Take two. Do you know what you're doing with Con? I'll scamper into the tent. Oh, I watch you and spill your wine. I know, I'm really aware of that. I'm really aware of that. When that's all I've got, that's all I think of. Right, folks. Right, folks. We're in Scotland. So we thought, we thought we'd have a little, um, Scottish night. Nah, I can't so, we some, so we had some French cheese. Nah, we had some French cheese. We had some French wine. Yeah, we French wine. Some Aust Australian, Australian wine. wine. Uh, Chia butter. Italian bread. Is Italian. We had some French army rations. And what's this? This is Swiss chocolate. Swiss chocolate. So we've had absolutely nothing Scottish. So there's been nothing Scottish. Nothing. About absolutely this. zilch. Not one thing. Not even a thing. I'm trying to think. What was it? Uh, we should have had some haggis maybe. Some um, oat cakes. When I went when I went to Orkney, right? Well, the served, you already, did you? The served were haggis. Mm. Well, asked for haggis nips and tatties, right? Because right. it's obviously you've got to do it like with a wasky sauce. Right. And um, they served it up. <coughs> Seriously, the plate. This was a starter. The plate was just piled high like that. Right. And there was masses of it. And I was like. Ugh. And she's like, oh my god, and we ate, we battled our way through half of it and it ruined the um, main course. I think we ordered the steak, it's ruined it like. Mm -hmm. so that put us off haggis. Haggis, need more haggis and leaves for So just a note, note to the Scottish, you don't need to give them so much. <laughs> if it's a starter anyway. I'll get hate for that one. Right. It's nice, but god, it was so much of it that, that time. Anyway, where's got chocolate? Where's got cheese? Tompo! Tompo has! <coughs> Aye, that's that then, <laughs> Nobody joined in. Aye. Anyway, let's just recap. So, I've had a um, Friday night, a car camped, which I didn't film because you get hate for car camping, apparently, for some reason. I arrived late, so I just pitched up in the car. Um, and then on Saturday morning I went up the Buckle. Oops, well, it's properly, tell them properly what it was. Well, it, it, it's it's actually a ridge. The Buckle oh. Etive Moor is a ridge of three summits. See, the one I went up was Stob Jag. I can't pronounce the other two, but I have been over the second one, but I haven't been on the third one. Jirag, Stob Jirag. So anyway, I went up the um, the front of it, which is. God, it's a mile, it's 1.36 miles, but it's straight up. It's just straight up from the ground, 1.36 miles. It's a hell of a hike. 
with the big 20 kilo pack so I got to the top and then I had a little kip and then I went up onto the top of Stub Jag, went to the summit you'll see all this in the video uh, came back down I just wandered around for ages because I was just so loving it like the weather was amazing and then I came down this morning I came down that same drop of death absolutely knackered sweating so hot and then I drove I think it was 176 miles from Glencore down to Dumfries to meet Mark Aye. who's also drove a hundred and odd mile that's about 150 miles so we met honestly I was there five minutes before him how was that for oh, timing estimated time of arrival that's, that's, that's Google Maps for you mind he he didn't get any tinnies I couldn't get the tinnies because I think you've already said it with tinnies uh, it was the shops and the roads were just chocker and, uh, and then we set off more or less straight away up what here a gen gen nice gentle little little uh, walk up here isn't it a gentle it's walk a the first bit was alright the bit Second, through them woods is the worst the bit through the woods was terrible and then the bit on the Ben Yellery. That's not too bad. That was knacking us as well. Normally it'd be alright doing that, but today I was just drained. But we made we made better progress than we thought we would mind. We didn't no. think we were gonna get here. I didn't think I'd make it up here. Like. We thought we had a camp next to the car. <laughs> I thought it was Gan Yem. Well I actually got to go to the camp site. I was so tempted. Drink beer at the pub. I was so tempted just to say, look, I'm Gan Yem. Sometimes it's nice to go to the pub and drink beer, you know. But anyway, <laughs> so that's it. That's the day. And I mean, Mark's Mark's had a week off work where he's been an absolute. He's been like um, Oscar Wilde, having like tasting menus and posh wine and all that. <laughs> Oscar Wilde. What? Who's Oscar Wilde? Oscar Wilde. Oliver Turnbull. What's he called? It's Oscar um, Wilde. It's Oscar Wilde. Uh, anyway. I was like them. them no, 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 no. I was like the judges of the uh, Monster Chef. No, coward. No, no coward. No coward. Yes, he had a smoking jacket on. Aye. Aye. So that's about it. That's about it, folks. So I'm going to turn that off now because this, these videos are going to be. I'm going to be on for weeks editing this lot. I can't get up. You're on a right hill, here. Like. Ah, yeah, that's why. That's why you can't stand up. Ugh. I'll edit this bit out. Ugh. What the fifth corner of the tent? Aye. Uh, uh, uh. I'll edit that out. That will not get in. Oh, yeah. Ooh, you know, you stretch. It was Skylarks today. Nobody, nout, nothing. Look at that, vast land. And it is vast. Not a thing. Well, slip up and down. I like this. I think got a nice sunrise. Like, don't know. Put it in, see what it's like. Um, it's quarter to eight now. Carry kip. Oh, night lapse as well, I don't know what that's like. Again, can't tell on the little screen. I never, I never really know if it's any good until I'm editing it. Uh, so, I'm gonna get the kettle on, the boots on, I'm gonna wiggle on, and get off this mountain. Leave no trace, blah 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 blah. Leave no trace, leave no trace. We even took a black bin bag full of rubbish with me. That's how good we are. So if you left that rubbish, that, that, 
So we're off, we're setting off, we're going to walk down this slope of Tara on the Ben Yallery and then down through the trees again. It's just a little uphill climb to that Ben Yallery, which probably make we heat up a bit, but that's all right. Rest downhill from there. So that's it. I might just end this here, I might come back, who knows. There's the Merrick anyway. <laughs>